join me, never too old. As I explore the waters of local lakes and quarries, as well as the waters of the Gulf of Mexico, the Atlantic, and the Caribbean Sea, two thirds of this world is covered by water. So let's go into this adventure and meet along the way amazing creatures that have made this amazing blue world home. Never too old here, everybody. I'm at Dutch Springs. There is a picnic sponsored by Scuba Venture, and we're gonna be here all day long scuba diving, there's scavenging hunt, games, you name it. There's the banner over there. So, scuba diving, swimming, there's the floating water park over there. Fun day out here at Dodge Springs. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Never To All SD. Here I am descending into the depths of Dodge Springs. Trying to reach the platform here to get our bearings and start heading for our destination. Mr. Mitz, that's him, John Smith. He's gonna lead our dive today because this is my first time on this site. There I am. Having a little problem equalizing my right ear. Never have problems equalizing until this year. I guess I'm getting old. Nah, you're never too old. All right. I'm heading down to our first attraction, which is a crane. And we are in about 60 feet of water. It's not too cold. Temperature is in the 50s. There we have the control where the operator used to stand and control the crane. There, Mr. Smith. Like I was saying before, because they're, we're deep in the summer, visibility is not that great. That's my other companion. Lots of people here are staring the silt. So, but still better than Willow Spring. Let's follow Mr. Smith. Lots of boulders, big boulders down here. Look at that, it's pretty big. And zebra mussels. Never failed. All right, now we're heading towards like a little island. That's like in the middle of the lake. I start to see fish, large mouth bass. There's the first one there. There's another one. Another one there. And they they're pretty used to the divers. They don't they let you get close to them. Some algae here on the rocks. 
And soon we're going to start seeing babies, I think, because they like to hang out here and feed on the algae. There they are. Look at all the babies. Look how cutie. Look at that. Cute little fish. There it goes. Run for your life. <laughs> Rocky bottom here is so not not too much silt here, which is good. Good looking fish. There's another one. See if I can get close. That was a nice shot. More divers over there. All right. This is a bluegill, pretty cool, look at that. Good fish, I'm big, they get big here because people don't fish. And here we got like a like a small plane, but well, here visibility is really bad. Too many divers stirring up the silt and you can barely see anything. That's this part of the wing can see the body of the plane, the tail. Yeah, it's, you can barely see anything here. Let's go, let's go into deeper water. The tail, and let's go deep. And we are at the distance, you can see the tail of the plane as we swim away. Well, this is a nice wreck. With this boat here. I'd say it's like a, like a 20 footer, maybe bigger. Maybe a 30 footer. On zebra mussel day. I am surprised it's not really covered on zebra mussels. A little here and there, but not completely covered. That's weird. Alright, we got the stern. All right. All right, good stuff, good stuff. Ah, right, let's follow the road for the next attraction. Oh, this is a big one, look at this. Wow. This is a big boat. Maybe I can penetrate it. Let's see. I see some palomino trout down there. Yep. Yeah, that's enough room. Let me can enter through the middle here, close to the stern. Palomino trout down there. Some railing here. I mean, this is a nice size boat. It's like a 50 footer. Oh, maybe a 40. Ah, right, let's go. Let's go in. Pretty neat. You can see that they cut pretty big space here so can divers can penetrate it safely trying to keep my boy and not kicking too much look at that two of them look whoa they're not shy 
That one got really close to my face. Some divers on the distance. Take a look here. Okay. Well, that was a good. Uh, that was this. This was a good one. First time on this side. I can't complain. I mean, this this quarry is pretty big, and there's no way you can see everything in one day. There's still another area that I haven't visited yet to, that I'm gonna try to do the next time. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. This is the end of our dive. I'm gonna end the video here. I always thank you for tuning in. Thank you to all my subscribers for your support. And the videos are gonna keep coming. Soon I'm gonna be in Florida, in the Gulf, and in West Palm Beach. And I will have more video for you guys to watch. Thank you for watching. It has been Never too old as the